Hello everyone, welcome to the GOA Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics related to geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, the GOA Ecologist. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel as we are going to cover each and every topic related to geography. Now in today's session on settlement geography, we are going to learn about the concept of primate city. The concept of primacy, its application, the law of primacy and several other concepts related to it we are going to discuss in today's session. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do share the videos with others as well. So now let's discuss this concept of primate city and also its application. So first we'll be talking about what is primate city and what are its various aspects and then we'll also be looking into the world application and Indian application at the end. So keep watching the video till the end and we'll talk about it in details. Now the law of primate city was propounded by the great American scholar Mark Jefferson in 1939, right? And 1939 is the time when a lot of development around locational analysis, quantitative things, and also the regional analysis in geography is prominent around the world that we know. So according to this concept, that is basically if a city is in a country which is disproportionately larger. Now, one city is disproportionately larger than the other cities. For example, London is seven times greater than Liverpool. Mexico City is five times greater than Gudalhara. So, these kind of examples were cited to say that there is a disproportionate relationship between the single largest city and the next city in the order. That is the second city in the order, right? So, if you look here in France, Paris, then you have Marseille, Lyon, Lille, Cannes, Toulouse, Bordeaux. Look at the distribution of the size of these cities, you'll find out there is a disproportionate relationship. And also we have learned in previous lessons about the hierarchy of urban settlements. So we look into this kind of hierarchical relationship through rank size rule, through primate city concept. So now, if we look into this particular law of primacy, what does it say? A country's leading city is always disproportionately large and exceptionally expressive of national capacity and feeling. It means it's the single largest dominant city in the country, in a single line if you want to understand, right? So what happens here? The primate city model induces the idea of first city, which is several times larger than the second city, not just in population size, but also in impact. That is the more important point here, right? So what you observe, for example, the city of Moscow, the capital of Russia, is almost four times in size of the metropolitan area of the next large city, that is St. Petersburg. Now this kind of relationship, according to primate city concept, is what we look into the world and also in India in terms of its concept and application. So now let's understand further that Mark Jefferson studied 51 countries of the world when he did his lawmaking. So, in that 27 countries, the population of large city is more than twice the second rated city, right? And in 18 countries, he found out it was more than three times, right? So, this was the idea given on particular observation, particular concept building, right? And what we observe further, that Mark Jefferson concluded the primate city that it has more than twice the population of second ranking city, at least more than twice. It means that if I am rank one city and this is rank two city, so between these two city, the relationship should be that the second city should be at least twice smaller than the first city. Or the first city should be two times greater in terms of population size than the second city in rank. So primate city is based on the relationship of this R1 and R2, rank one and rank two cities in ratio of their population size. This is one thing. And for 27 countries, what did he found out? This ratio was greater than 2. And for 18 countries out of the 51, ratio was greater than 3. That's why he established the concept of primacy, right? So if you observe, what are the factors that are supposed to be controlling this primate factors, primacy factors? So primate city is controlled by several factors. For example, small territory, then high agricultural dependence, high population growth, low per capita income and a colonial history. So these are major five factors that have a greater influence on making of a primate city. 
So you can understand that where would this primate city be located, where all these five factors or at least majority of these factors are available, right? So what you observe, Jefferson himself did not determine the process of this primate city development. Then who did it for him? Later on, Linsky, another scholar, suggested the characteristics of these countries having primate city. So the characteristics of these countries are that they will have large population, first important point, smaller territorial extent. It means the territorial extent would not be very large and high population pressure in terms of density and growth rate would be obviously there and also agro-based economy, low per capita income and colonial status. This is what we look into flow diagram. So what is the resultant of this? A primate city is majorly in terms of rank size distribution, we can understand in simple way. But we are not doing rank size rule here, we'll do that in the separate lecture. So for now, what we're looking into? The first rank city, the biggest city and the second rank city, what is the relationship between these two, right? And there is something called king effect which is visible. What is this king effect? King effect is that it is an outlier or an otherwise on a linear graph. One data is not fitting on the linear graph. It is an outlier. For example, if you observe the scene here, the population is almost similar in these countries, but India and China is completely outlier. They are far, far, far bigger population than many other countries put together. Right. So this is what we say is king effect. Similarly, in one country, one big city could be far bigger in size than the second city. Right. That's what we look into this factor. So if you observe here in Mexico, what is there? Mexico City is the single biggest city and rest all of them are far smaller than Mexico in terms of its population size. Now, one important thing to remember here in terms of Mark Jefferson's word is it's not just the population size, but also quality of population, its impact. The city has a social, economic, political impact as well. The feeling as well, right? That's why it's the quantitative plus qualitative thing that needs to be taken care when we are looking into the primacy. So what you observe, look at the 50 largest cities of the world and where are they concentrated. If you observe this portion in United States, here in some places in South America, in Mexico, then you have the Western Europe, then something in Middle East, then you have in India, Southeast Asia, right, and Australia, South Africa. So these are the chunks of the world where maximum bigger cities are available. But are all of them under the concept of primate city? That's what we need to check on. So we need to find out a quantitative technique in, a, in order of understanding this. So index of primacy is what we calculate. And what is an index? It is a number or a measurement of the relative importance of largest town in a given region or a nation. Right. So it is basically a ratio of population of the first rank city and population of the second rank city. In simple way, if you have to calculate primacy index, there is a formula where PI primacy index is equal to C1 upon C1 plus C2 plus C3 and so on into 100 if you want to calculate this in percentage. So C1 is basically amount of people in the biggest city of the country and then C2 is the second city, C3 is the third city in order and C4 is the fourth city in order. This all in terms of population. So what you observe, if you do this formula and apply it, what will happen? You'll get a primacy index. Now this primacy index, if it is greater or equal to 50, then only it is primate city. It means the bigger city, the biggest city should be at least two times bigger than the second rank city in terms of population size and impact. That's what is primacy index, right? So primate city always grows out of a settlement which has situational advantage, for example, locational advantage, historical advantage, geographical advantage, these kind of advantages that we say is very important. Right? For example, if you observe the historical cities which are bigger cities or primate cities of their times, for example, Rome, Patliputra, Cal capital of Magadh Empire, then later on Calcutta and Bangkok developed in colonial times as the biggest city in the countries. So what you observe? Classification is important. So what happened? Brian Berry and Houghton made this country-wise analysis to understand the levels of primacy. So they found that primacy occurs in particular cases. For example, the first case, small countries engage in the production of few commodities. What is this? Austria, Sweden, Netherlands, Denmark. These countries are small in territorial area. 
and also their production is in fewer commodities but they have primacy established in their countries then we observe that countries with commercialization superimposed on subsistence level for example commercialization in sri lanka and mexico it is superimposed on the subsistence level of agricultural system right then smaller countries with simple subsistence economies like thailand and also countries with traditional economies like portugal right these are the countries and what is the commonality that berry and horton found out that these countries are not in huge aerial extent and majorly they are primarily dependent upon agriculture and maybe there is some kind of commercialization superimposed over agriculture so these are the things that they found out now let's look into the test of primacy how would we know that primacy is there or not so there are two words to understand here that primacy can be tested on the basis of these two principles what are these two principles the principles of applicability and desirability so applicability is basically a model representing the half truth it's not necessarily truth always it can be partially applicable completely applicable or very little applicable applicability yardstick has to be understood first and the next one is desirability it means what is this primacy desirable how will we understand it so presence of primacy is an example of disparity why because understand one big city is getting all the advantages and others are not getting that level of advantage so it means there is a disparity that is represented through primacy so it may be undesirable for some people some countries isn't it while at the same time it may be desirable as well so in case while planning for small territorial region limited resources and investment one big city is desirable because it does not have much of extent one big city in a small country would be good enough so it's desirable for the same but for a large country if it is only one major city it's a problem it will create disparity so this is about the desirability factor and the applicability factor so if you want to test primacy these two concepts are very important right now characteristics of primate city let's list it one by one so first characteristic it has to be internationally familiar city right then what you observe actively participation in international events then what you have is fairly large population then what we have is major international airport it must have then advanced transportation system connectivity then what you have is international culture and community international financial institutions lively cultural scene having powerful media center of international pilgrim and others so these are certain features or you can say characteristics of the large cities or primate cities of first order across the world right so what you observe there are also a lot of problems in these cities so lot of problems in terms of their population and other factors so how shortages would be there traffic congestion crime pollution urban rural inequality you saw disparity was important then concentration of power supplies increase in land value resulting in price rise inflation and imbalance in development is usually observed in these kind of cities so these are the problems of these primate cities to be understood right now application of this primate city at the end we should talk about so is it universally applicable the law of primacy can we find out everywhere no primate city is a inductive theory right it's not a deductive theory or law made theory it's an induction approach it means it may be fitting in some pockets of the world right we can induce in the system and check for its validity check for its desirability and also if it is applicable or not right so we can look into the universal application through the lenses of socio economic forces and we found out that it's not universally applicable in certain areas of the world it is applicable also at certain scale it is applicable not at a national scale in india we can find out right so no primacy at national level but at state level in india we can find out some sort of primacy available right so what you observe in india instead of primacy multiple primacy is found due to several reasons remember what reasons first of all is large geographical extent then multi ethnic and multilingual country we have diversity growth of four different megalopolis right delhi kolkata chennai mumbai all these areas are big cities in four parts of india right and distance decay factor is a very common phenomena and what is distance decay from a big city as you go out from the small city to the next city there is a 
सर्विस दिखे और वी कैन से फैसिलिटीज गो डाउन एंड देन देर इज अ बिग सिटी अगेन सो बिटवीन टू बिग सिटीज इन इंडिया देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्टेंस टू कवर एंड देन स्मॉल स्मॉल सिटीज आर देर इन बिटवीन right so the levels of primacy are not at national level we observe for example mumbai and kolkata if you see the ratio it's 1.1 it's less than 2 so no primacy right at least two times it should be so to look into this state capitals have some sort of primacy also there are some exceptions for example in up up is a huge state uttar pradesh right so it has low developmental status it has varanasi allahabad lucknow and kanpur as large and comparable cities it means they will be comparable their ratios will not be more than twice of one another right so that's an exception but we also have some examples in tamil nadu where madurai coimbatore chennai where chennai is the largest but not disproportionately right it's not disproportionately large because of tamil nadu has a better record in terms of its development right there again you see exception at state level also then further in kerala despite being relatively more developed state it does not have a primate city right tiruvananthapuram kochi kozhikod and ever all of them you can see they have a comparable population size so these are some of the exceptions that we see but also if you observe some other states in india primacy is found so where in primacy you can see in west bengal kolkata and asansol five times then you see maharashtra mumbai and pune 4.5 times in karnataka you have bangalore and mysore 4.8 times so all of them if you observe andhra pradesh bihar rajasthan you will find out primacy exists if you compare the single big city and the second number of city but also no primacy in jharkhand and punjab right so this is from the earlier study made by kazi ahmed in 1971 so if you observe there is a problem in scale of application right so we say that primate city concept and law of primacy is a inductive theory which needs to be treated in terms of check and apply right we cannot simply say it's available everywhere in all the developing countries and all the developing states it can be applicable it's not so that's to be clear cut understood so now when we have discussed in details the various aspects of primate city concept primacy and its application in the sessions to come we'll be talking more about rank size rule and several other topics of settlement geography so stay tuned stay safe keep checking out the playlists on our channel and also do share the videos with others as well